everyone. Uh, thanks for joining already. Uh, and welcome to our subject webinar on studying management in Germany. Uh, this is super um, exciting webinar with lots of people uh, that we have three programs today that will present their um, um, their uh, Studiengänge, master programs, and also we have one bachelor program as well, which is really cool. So yeah, we have material for everyone, for every level, I would say. And yeah, warm welcome from my side. My name is Georgi, and today I will be the moderator uh, of today's of today's webinar. So the least important person, uh, which means that I will be more behind the scenes. So uh, taking care with the Q&A session, uh, you can see the Q&A button in the bottom part of your Zoom interface uh, next to chat, it must be. So this is the place where you can send and you should send uh, your questions throughout the whole webinar. It's always open. And yeah, you cannot use the chat, unfortunately, but uh, you don't really need that because Q&A section is there. And uh, regarding the chat, I would suggest strongly suggest you to follow the chat because uh, we will send some in interesting and important links uh, to you uh, there. So keep an eye on the chat. And yeah, long story sh uh, short, I will now make a short presentation about my GU and some provide you with some interesting information about studying in Germany. And then I will also introduce our guests and invite them to the floor. So let me start my small presentation. As I said, uh, we talk about studying in, in management in Germany today and briefly about my German university. So who is behind uh, this webinar, the organizer? So uh, my German university is that we are Germany's largest database of English to study programs. When you go to mygermanuniversity.com, you will be able to find over 2,300 masters and bachelor programs. And also we have already added some short courses, language courses, and you can all find them on our website in our study finder. Uh, to put it simply, our goal, our main aim is to help international students like you on their way to studying in Germany. Uh, and we know what we are doing because many of us have also studied in Germany, came to Germany as international students like me, for example, to do my master's. So yeah, we are here to help. And one of the ways to help you is exactly our study finder. So it's really easy to uh, use. It's really easy for uh, narrowing down your choices uh, in your search. And it has lots of filters, really useful ones, and will definitely help you to find the best fitting program for you. The second way of helping you is through writing up articles, relevant articles when it comes to studying in Germany or living in Germany for students, or for international students also, of course. And yeah, we have more than 70 comprehensive articles right now, and the number is rising. And we have different topics. We touch upon different topics like uni-assist, visa, scholarships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the third way of helping you is the one that we are employing right now. So we are, I'm talking about webinars. We have approximately 150 webinars per year and the topics vary. Of course, um, we have uh, general, some general webinars on uh, scholarships, uh, on studying in Germany in general, also subject webinars like today's one uh, on management, but also we, uh, we have subject webinars on different topics. And you can see all the upcoming webinars that are planned already on our website, mygermanus.com and in the section on the webinars. And uh, about our team. so. We, my German university, are based in Hamburg in Germany, but our team is international. We are based in other cities of Germany as well, but also outside Germany, in China, in Spain, uh, uh, also in Brazil. So uh, yeah, we are all around the world and we also counsel in different lang languages ranging from English to even Georgian. Okay, so uh, I will now uh, introduce to you webinar agenda and then provide some uh, add some short information in at the same time interesting one i hope for you guys so we have as i said guests from three german universities and we uh, they're presenting uh, three programs so uh, our first guest would be uh, josefina kontich from akadis hochschule bad homburg and she will present the program in ml program in international management we our another guest is also travis stiltner who will who from hochschule heilbronn and he will present a, also ma program in international business and intercultural management and last but not least, uh, uh, also uh, SR, we have a guest from a SRH Hochschule in Northheim, Westfalen, uh, Nora Isabel Bochnik, and uh, she will present uh, two programs. She'll touch upon two programs, one bachelor program in business management and another master's program in supply chain management. Before I invite them to the floor, let me tell you some things about uh, studying in Germany. So 
really, really shortly. For those who are interested more in uh, English, uh, German taught study programs, then Hochschule Compass would be your stop. This is a database that will be more useful for you if you want to study in German. And I uh, ask, I'll ask Nino, who's also helping me today, to share this link to Hochschule Compass in the chat. Uh, and uh, if you are more interested in English taught study programs, then I would say my German university and our study finder should be your stop because here you will find lots of programs uh, about different topics. Of course, we are talking today about management. So for management, you will be able to find 470 programs and around 99 are bachelor level. 77 of them are English only. So you don't need any other knowledge of any other language. And 370 are master programs and 303 of them are English only. So you don't need any knowledge of any other, uh, any other language. I'm talking mostly about German. Uh, also, uh, one suggestion for those who are, do not know yet how it looks like to study management in Germany, what are the rankings of universities that are offering the programs, or what are the tuition fee ranges that they should expect when studying management in Germany, application admission, language requirements, so all of these things, to really to uh, uh, create an idea of what should you expect if you want to study management in Germany. I would also suggest you to visit our subject, subject pages on management. We also have subject page and on, on all other subjects. And we here have really general information, but useful in order to create, to create an idea of what you should expect when it comes to studying this or that subject in Germany. And our pro tip is that, uh, of course, you should find, you should look for the right, the, university profile and study program which fits you the best and uh, our suggestion strong suggestion would be don't just be guided by this kind of uh, things like uh, ranking or city names um, because this is not always uh, useful and not always the right strategy i wouldn't say even it's not right strategy at all because of course, those universities that, that are uh, high in the top international rankings, they are really nice, they are really good, providing high quality education, of course, no uh, no doubt about that, but there are more than that uh, in Germany, there are much more universities, much more cities or towns in Germany with great universities, with great uh, high quality programs, which will provide you high quality education. So in order, in order not to meet that out, don't just look at rankings uh, and find uh, your, the, your uh, university or your programs through the rankings or only based on search of universities in Berlin or Munich because these are really popular cities. So uh, if you don't want to miss out really the best fitting programs for you, best fitting in terms of your background, your interests, etc. Yeah, uh, there one more thing. So there are two types of universities I know you to I want you to know about. The first type is Universität type of university or uh, so uh, if you go to our study finder, you will be able to find 105 programs in the field of management that are offered by this type of university. And the second type of university, which we have today on, on our webinar also that I presented, uh, this is University of Applied Sciences. So if you go to our study finder, you will be able to find 332 programs in this subject offered by this type of university. Of course, you can. You will ask now, what is the real difference between university or universität or and university of applied sciences? So, uh, not really huge differences, but what I want you to know about is the focus is a bit different. So, when it comes to universität type of university, here is focused more on research and theory. But if you are more into application and practice, hands-on experience, then it's it's more about university of applied sciences. And last but not least, also one more suggestion from our side. Uh, yeah, uh, sometimes students are really strict in terms of wording. When they search, they are strict in terms of wording of what to find. Uh, and uh, when, they, when they're searching for programs, so my suggestion and our suggestion would be be a little bit more flexible when you're searching for a program because the prog program may not be strictly named as you would like to, but they're name might be a little bit different but the content will be the same and even better than you, you are searching for so in order again not to miss out any programs or any opportunities for you i would like to uh, suggest you to be more flexible when it comes to uh, searching for the programs now let me move to our second guest um we are moving a bit more southern to Germany, and we have our guest Travis Tiltner uh, from Heilbronn University of Applied Sciences, another University of Applied Sciences that we have today, and he will talk about, he will present uh, MA program in international business and intercultural management. So, 
Again, I'm stopping sharing my screen and inviting Travis to the floor. Hey, Gorgi. Uh, let me just get my presentation going. Um, so again, my name is Travis Stoltner. I'm the program coordinator for our International Business and Intercultural Management Master's program here at the Faculty of International Business at Hal Brown University of Applied Sciences. Um, I'm joined today by my colleague, uh, Ms. Susanna Hillen, who's kind of manning the chat for me in case you guys have questions. Um, as I'm going through the presentation, please feel free to put those into the Q&A and she'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Um, so uh, just to give you a, a little information about myself, I'm actually a graduate of the program. I finished the, this program in 2018. Prior to that, um, I lived in the United States and was a HR director for about 12 years for an IT company. Um, so I decided to move here to Germany. Um, so maybe I'm in the same boat as many of you, you might be. Um, so I'm happy to kind of share my own experiences through the presentation, um, as well as some of the more administrative things that are gonna be important to you. Um, so you may ask, where is Heilbronn? Um, we are in the South of Germany in the state of Baden-Württemberg. Um, we are, uh, about 45 minutes by train north of Stuttgart and about 45 minutes uh, south of uh, the city of Heidelberg. So maybe there are two uh, places that you are familiar with. Um, we are a, a good sized university. We're, we're one of the largest uh, universities of applied sciences uh, here in the state of Baden-Württemberg. Um, we have four different campuses. Um, our oldest campus is in uh, Sondheim, which is a neighborhood just south of the city center of Heilbronn. Um, and that's the campus that houses more of the engineering and IT um, related disciplines. Um, we're actually located, or our programs are located at the Buildings Campus, which is a brand new campus that uh, only was built in the last few years. So it's very modern and you have nice facilities here. Um, we're the largest of the four campuses and we're just next to the city center. So it's really conveniently located for uh, going out for dinner or hanging out with uh, your classmates um, after after your classes. Um, we also have two uh, satellite campuses, one in Kunzelzau and another in Schwäbisch Hall. Um, these uh, campuses are about 45 minutes away from Heilbronn. There's not a lot of reason for our students to travel to these campuses, um, but they are nice places to visit um, if you'd like to have an excursion on your, in your free time. Um, so a little more about the city itself. Um, we're, by German standards, we're considered a, a mid-sized city. We have a population of around 125,000. Um, it's an excellent location. Um, as I said before, we're not too far from Stuttgart and not too far from um, Heidelberg, um, and honestly, not too far from Frankfurt, uh, for example, or to Munich. Um, we're in a, a nice location here in the industrial south, so there's lots of opportunities to, to work in different industries. Um, here in Hebron itself, you find a lot of big names that you're able to, to maybe find student work or internships with. Um, another uh, nice thing or another fun fact about the city is we have uh, the longest gastronomic river walk in the south of Germany. It's called the Neckermeile. Um, so there you find um, lots of uh, international uh, cuisine and uh, nice, uh, a nice setting just to hang out by the river. Um, we are in the middle of a very important wine region of Germany. Um, we are surrounded here in the city by beautiful vineyards. So I'm looking out the window as I speak um, at the nice uh, vineyards um, that surround us. Um, so it's a really pretty place to be. Um, another uh, interesting thing is that we hosted the Federal Garden Show in 2019. Um, and this brought a lot of uh, revitalization into the city. Um, you can see a picture here um, the, on the bottom uh, left um, of what that looked like, uh, but you still see uh, remnants of that uh, throughout the city. Um, so a very pretty place to be. Um, so uh, as I said before, I'm in the Faculty of International Business um, and here within the International Business Faculty, we have seven programs. Uh, four of them are bachelor's programs, and then we have three master's programs. Um, the two master's programs that maybe are of most interest to you would be the two that are taught entirely in English, and this is the International Business and Intercultural Management Program, which I'm going to talk about today. Um, but we also have our International Tourism Management uh, Program um, that's also taught entirely in English. Um, so if you're interested in tourism, perhaps you might want to contact us about that. Um, just to give you a, before I forget to mention this, um, 
we use acronyms um, more often than not for our master's programs because they're such long names. So for the International Business and Intercultural Management Program, uh, usually I'll say MEBEM. Um, and for uh, International Tourism Management, we say MEBEM. So um, as I go through the presentation, probably you're gonna hear me say MEBEM uh, fairly often. Um, before I move from this slide, you'll see here a few pictures of our campus. Um, you can see the middle picture is from our brand new library. It's one of the largest here in the South of the country, um, but it's just a really modern and pretty place to study. Um, so you may ask yourself why you would want to study a master program here at uh, Hochschule Heilbronn. Um, and we, we survey our students pretty regularly about this, uh, and we can kind of categorize their, their feedback into five different uh, strong points. Uh, first is that there's excellent career opportunities um, after you study here. As I mentioned before, um, here in this region, we have a lot of industries. Um, in the south of Germany, you know, one of the things, one of the industries that most uh, think of is the automobile industry. Um, here in Stuttgart, we have the headquarters of Mercedes and Porsche. Um, but beyond that, we have here in the city of Heilbronn itself is the headquarters of Lidl or Kaufland. Um, Lidl is maybe a brand that you're more familiar with. Um, we're not too far from the headquarters of SAP. Um, that might be another company that you're familiar with. Um, so our students are really well prepared and we have good contacts into all of these companies. Um, so we're very confident that students are able to find uh, full-time employment after they finish their master's studies with us. Um, as uh, Georgi mentioned earlier, um, we are a University of Applied Sciences, so we have this focus on, um, on you know, being practical, uh, providing practical knowledge to our students. Um, so most of our, in, uh, all of our uh, professors or lecturers are required to have uh, actual work experience in industry before they come here. Um, most of that experience is working with international companies or working internationally. Um, so they, they're able to bring that real life experience into the academic setting um, and to, to guide students in the, what work is really gonna be like um, when they enter the workforce. Um, the next uh, strong point is that there's lots of opportunities for international networking during the studies. Um, we are the international business faculty, um, so we have a lot of international students here uh, beyond the students that are coming to our master's programs, um, which would be about two thirds to one half of those students in our master's are from outside of Germany. Um, our professors are also very international. Um, I would say at least half of our professors are, are non-Germans. Um, so they, they really get this, you know, you really have the opportunity to learn uh, this intercultural knowledge from someone that's actually from where you're learning about, which is really nice. Um, and another uh, interesting thing there is that because of the, all of the international students that we have here, um, it's very common that you're hearing uh, four or five different languages potentially as you're, as you're entering our building. Um, so you really do get the sense of being international and having this focus during your studies. Um, next is that, that we're able to offer individual support and mentoring. Um, our master's programs are, are fairly small, um, which gives us the opportunity uh, to get to know each of our students and to learn more about them and for them to get to know us. Um, and I'm not talking only about the staff uh, here, but also the professors. Um, the professors are going to learn your name and they're going um, to, to learn a lot about you and you learn about them during your studies. Um, and then lastly, we have this interdisciplinary concept. So our programs are, are not just uh, purely about the fundamentals of business. Um, we also integrate some of these soft skills. Um, so in this particular program, uh, it's International Business and Intercultural Management. Uh, the name should give you the idea that you're learning that a large part of our curriculum is focused on intercultural communication and intercultural management, which is um, incredibly important um, in today's uh, global environment. Uh, beyond that, we also have a, a real focus on sustainability, uh, which is something that's uh, becoming more and more important. Um, so here are just a few short facts. Um, we are a Master of Arts program. Our program is taught entirely in English, so there's absolutely no requirement that you speak a word of German in order to join our program. Um, however, we do encourage our students to take German classes while they're here. 
um, studying with us. They're actually offered for free here at the university. Um, it certainly would help you in your everyday life to know some basics of German. Um, and as well to, if, you're, if your plan is to stay here after your studies to, uh, to get a job, knowledge of German is vitally important. Um, but as far as the application in order to get in, uh, English is, is all you need. Um, I've already covered that we're located at the Bildungs campus, which is near the city center. Um, we have only one intake per year, and that's in the winter semester. Um, the winter semester starts to like lectures start towards the end of September. Um, our program is designed to be completed in three semesters during which you obtain uh, 90 ECTS credits. There is a possibility to study abroad here in the Faculty of International Business. We have around 90 partner universities, not only in Europe, but in Asia and in South America and North America. Um, and you have the possibility to study at a, a select few of those partner universities as part of the master's. Um, typically, this is done in the third semester. Um, our program is a full-time program. Um, so what I like to stress on this point is that uh, we expect that because we are a full-time program, that this is the main focus of our students um, while they're enrolled here. Um, we do try to arrange our course schedules in order for, student, for our students to take maybe a, a work student contract um, in order to kind of fund some of their, their activities while they're studying here. Um, but it's important to know that you can't work full time and study full time with us. It's, it's really not possible. And then finally, another important thing that probably you're all interested in is our fees. Um, we have a semester fee of around 160 euros that all students pay every semester. This uh, is, applies to German students, to European students, and to international students. Um, additionally, if uh, you are a international student from outside of the European Union, there is an international tuition fee of 1,500 euros per semester. Um, this is something that is implemented by the state of Baden-Württemberg. Um, it's not something that we're happy about and that the, univers that the university itself can do anything about. This is something that was implemented beyond our control. We're not very happy about it, but unfortunately this is the case. So that's something to plan for if you plan to study with us. So talking a bit more about the objectives of the NIBEM program, um, our program is designed to qualify uh, first degree graduates for management positions in globally operating organizations. Um, and we do this through offering uh, modules and courses in three different areas. The first being subject knowledge courses. So these are things like finance or marketing or human resources, economics. Um, secondly, we, offer, we have courses in methodology, uh, research methodology, so uh, both quantitative and qualitative uh, research methods. And then finally, uh, courses in interpersonal and intercultural skills. Um, and these are not uh, only at the global and theoretical level, um, but also at the practical. And we actually focus in on uh, several different regions um, as part of the studies. Um, so you really get to, if your interest, for example, is in um, management in Asia, um, there's a course that, to, that specifically focuses on that. Um, so we expect that with all the knowledge that you, that you gain through our program, that you're able to stand out as, global, as leaders in globally operating organizations. Um, so you may ask yourself what sets MEBEM apart from other master's programs, um, and we, uh, we categorize the, those into four different categories, the first being practical projects and excursions. Um, so um, each year we invite uh, experts into our learning environment uh, to present real life uh, experiences in business. Um, and to engage our students in new innovative best practices and in management, um, including topics like agility or design thinking or digital transformation, just to give a few examples. Um, and we organize a variety of uh, excursions and events for our students as part of our welcome program and part of our courses. Um, next, uh, we are very international and well-networked. Um, as I mentioned before, our professors are coming from industry before they, they come here to teach. Um, and so they bring with them lots of context from different industries and from different areas of the world. Um, so you're, you can gain a lot of uh, context through the professors or through the staff here at the university. 
Um, secondly, related to this topic is that we're very diverse and international um, in terms of our students. Um, every year we, we accept students from not only Germany, um, but other European countries from Asia, from uh, North and South America, from Africa. Um, so you're able to, to gain some of this intercultural communication knowledge and skills, um, not only through your courses, but just by your interaction with uh, your close interaction with your classmates. Um, next, we're a small group. Um, every, uh, every year we admit around 20 students. Um, and these students are coming with uh, different educational backgrounds and different uh, levels of professional experience. Um, we have some students, for example, that have studied uh, more tourism related topics during their bachelors. Um, and then we have some that have studied international business or their bachelors has been in marketing or finance. Um, important here is that all of our students uh, are required to have a, a bachelor's degree in business, so they all have this fundamental knowledge, but you do get to kind of uh, gain some knowledge from your classmates that are um, that maybe studied or maybe had a, a specialization in their bachelor's that was different from yours. Um, and we have students with, uh, with professional experience. I, for example, was one of those. I, as I said before, I worked in human resources for uh, almost 15 years before I came here. And I studied alongside uh, students that came directly from their bachelors. Um, so I was able to learn from them because they obviously were very well versed in all of the academic things, you know, writing papers and citing sources and those types of things. Um, and they were able to, to gain a lot from me because I had some real life practical experience in a lot of the things that we were studying. So it, it really is a, a nice melding of, uh, of uh, of groups. And finally, we have exceptional teaching. Um, our program is accredited uh, by ACWIN. Um, another nice thing here is that some of our uh, master's courses are combined with the International Tourism Management Program. So you're not only um, interacting with your MEBEM classmates, but you're getting this additional group of students um, into your classes um, so you can even broaden your, your contacts even more. Um, and I can say from experience that this interaction between MITEM and MIBEM um, is very strong. Some of my lasting friendships uh, are with MITEM students. Uh, and then finally, we have this focus on interculturalism and sustainability. Um, and this is not something that you fi often find. Um, we spend a lot, of our, a lot of our curriculum covering topics in intercultural uh, management and communication and then sustainability. Um, so here you can see the program structure. You can see that there's three semesters. Um, we start every year with an orienta orientation program, which is in the first or first or second week of the of the of the semester. And during this orientation program, um, we cover all of the administrative things that you might need to know about um, when you study here. You know, if you if you've never studied in Germany before, there's some there's some technical things that are a bit different, so we kind of inform you of those. Um, we assist you with, uh, you know, what you need to do as far as living in the city. You know, there's registration, um, some things that you have to do with the foreigner's office. Um, so we try to, to, to help you get acquainted uh, with living and studying here. Um, beyond that, the first semester is going to be more focused on the foundations and it will introduce you to some current topics in business. So we have a module that's covering uh, research methods. Um, we have our first uh, module on intercultural communication where you focus more on theories and methods. Um, we expose you to some environmental studies, um, including topics in uh, CSR and economics. Um, and then we have a module of courses that are held together with the MITEM students. Um, that includes global talent management and financial analysis. Um, and then an, a really interesting course called Specific Issues of International Management. Um, and I say this is interesting because this is a course where you're looking at different cases and emerging topics, um, you know, as far as uh, what different trends and globalizations and things like that. Um, after the first semester, you move on to a more advanced level of studies where, again, we have a course in uh, research methods and econometrics. Um, we have a module of courses in sustainability where we look at economic development, uh, financial systems and management um, from the perspective of sustainable development. 
Um, and then we have a module of courses that cover uh, multinational cases in marketing, um, as well as global leadership. And then we have this course, Intercultural Management Cases and Regions. And this is the course that I kind of alluded to earlier, um, where we uh, dive deeper into particular regions of the world. Um, typically, these regions are Eastern Europe, the Spanish-speaking world, the Arab world, and Asia-Pacific. And then finally, our third semester is, um, you have a lot of options in the third semester. You can either decide, you can decide just to immediately start with your thesis, um, or you can use the semester to study abroad at one of our partner universities, um, or use the semester to do a voluntary internship. Um, a semester abroad or internship is not a requirement of the program. It's something that you, you can voluntarily do. Um, and it, I would encourage it, um, but it's not required. The important thing here is that uh, you have to register your thesis by the end of the third semester. Um, so when you do this, you register at the end of the third semester, and then you have six, you have six months in order to uh, submit your thesis. So in a lot of cases, our students will stay for four semesters um, to take full advantage of all the opportunities that are available here at the university. Um, here are a few examples of um, some of our graduates. Um, our program opens the door to, to careers in different fields. Uh, for example, we have Carlos, who is from Mexico, um, and he found a job here uh, very close to Halbron um, as a digital communication and content specialist. Um, we have Giannis, who is uh, from Germany, um, and he also studied his, his bachelor's here at our university in, um, in international business, uh, Eastern Europe. Um, and he's working uh, for a manufacturer um, in controlling and finance. Um, and then finally, we have Laura, who is from France, um, and she found a position uh, working as an HR business partner for Robert Bosch. Um, one important thing that maybe uh, you're not so familiar with is that um, if you're an international student from outside of Europe, um, visa issues may be something that's, that's uh, an, an interesting topic for you. Um, once you finish uh, your, your master's degree here in Germany, you have the opportunity to apply for what they call a work searching visa. Um, and this is a visa that allows you to stay here in Germany for up to 18 months um, while you try to find full-time employment. Um, so this might be something that's really important to you. Um, it's not a case where you, know, you lose your student status and you immediately have to leave the country. Um, so. Perfect. So you may be interested in what's required in order to study in our program. Uh, first, we require that you have an excellent or good bachelor's degree in a business related uh, field. Um, so this would be in uh, economics, uh, finance, marketing, uh, management, those types of things. Um, important is that at least 50% of your courses need to be in business subjects. Um, the bachelor's degree should be with 210 ECTS credits. Um, some of you may not be so familiar with ECTS. This is the, the credit system that we use here in Europe. Um, basically, this 210 ECTS um, is equivalent to um, seven and a half to eight uh, semesters of full-time study. So typically a three and a half to four year bachelor's program. Um, if you studied a bachelor's program that is three years, for example, um, you still have the opportunity to uh, to apply um, and then make up those uh, missing credits um, during your master's studies. Um, important to note is that what we mean by an excellent or, for, or good first degree is that it's a minimum German grade point average of 2.5. Um, the German system is uh, the best grade is a 1.0 and the Lowest grade is a 5.0. So in order to, uh, to be considered for admission, you have to have at least this 2.5. Um, and then uh, the second requirement is that you, you really have to have a high proficiency of English. Um, all of our courses are taught in English. Um, all of your work is gonna be done in English. Um, so for the benefit of your classmates, it's important that you speak English very well. Um, so we do require that you uh, submit either ILTS, TOEFL, Cambridge, or Oxford Test of English exam result. And the only exception to this is native speakers um, of English from very specific countries. Um, and you can find this list of countries on our website. 
Um, it's not possible to prove your English, for example, through um, having studied in English in your bachelor's program or working in English or um, any other means. So just keep that in mind. Um, so there's two steps for our application process for students that do not have a bachelor's degree from a German institution. Um, the first step is to apply to have that bachelor's degree recognized as equivalent to a German bachelor's degree. Um, and you do this by applying to Studien Colleague Constance. Um, and during this process, you're going to submit all kinds of paperwork related to your bachelor's degree uh, and your um, secondary education. Um, and then they'll make a determination whether that's equivalent and determine what your grade point average is. Um, and then they'll send you the certificate of verification. Um, and we recommend that you do this no later than June 1st. Um, it does take them some time to process your documents and to make this and to make this determination. Um, you can do this all year, but at the latest, please start this process by June 1st, because this certificate is required for step two, which is the application to the university. And if you don't have the certificate by July 15th, you're not going to be able to to be considered for our uh, university and our program. Um, so this is step two, um, and that's uh, applying at Halbron University. The deadline for this is July 15th. Um, the application period starts in May, um, so you'll have to wait until that time in order to start your application. And uh, the application consists of two parts. First, it's completing an online application. Uh, where you fill in all kinds of information about yourself and your studies. Um, and then you'll need to print this uh, information, uh, this application form, sign it, and then send it along with all of the required application documents um, to our academic department. And this needs to be received by the academic department by July 15th. If it's late, um, it's not going to be considered. And if you don't have all of your documents, we're not able to consider you. So. Um, you know, this is a hard and true deadline, so please don't miss this. Um, you may ask what, what types of documents do you need to submit? First, you have the signed application form. Um, second, there you need to submit a copy of your, uh, your secondary education or high school diploma. Uh, you need to submit your bachelor's degree, um, as well as your bachelor's transcript of records. Um, and additionally, if you have a bachelor's degree from outside of Germany, uh, the certificate that you'll receive from Studien Colleague Constance. You'll need to submit your official test result from an, one of our required English tests, your CV, and then a letter of motivation in English, approximately two pages, where you kind of explain uh, why you're interested in your program and what in our program and why you would uh, why you're applying to us. Um, all of the documents that you send to us can be simple copies. You don't need to send originals of anything, and actually. We, we, reckon, we definitely don't want you to send your originals because these documents are not returned to you. So just simple copies are required for the application process. Um, and if you are admitted, then you would need to submit, uh, you would need to at least show the originals when officially enrolling. Um, so as far as how we select our students, um, the main criteria is the grade of your first degree. Um, and then uh, if you need bonus points, um, you can get those through uh, submitting proof of work experience as well as uh, any international experience that you had uh, while you were completing your bachelor's degree. So that's the uh, end of my presentation. I'm very happy to answer any questions you might have um, later on. So I'll hand it back to Georgi. Thank you very much, Travis, for this really comprehensive presentation. And now I will quickly already jump into our uh, third presentation. So our another guest, our last but not least, our guest, Nora from SRH University of Applied Sciences in North Rhine Westphalia. And she will present uh, two programs. She'll talk about two programs, bachelor level pro program in business management and master level program in supply chain management. And you can see it on the map uh, where uh, uh, the university is located in Northwest of Germany. I'm stopping sharing my screen and inviting Nora to the floor. Thank you very much. I'll just start sharing my screen now and 
yeah, welcome to the last presentation of today. My name is Nora. I'm working uh, related to international student relations and I'm working at SRH University in North Rhine-Westphalia and I'm happy to give you a short overview about our university and the programs. Um, what I have brought for you today is just an overview about our campuses. Um, and then I'm going to present you two programs today, the Business Management Bachelor and the Supply Chain Management Master, and a short overview what we offer besides just the um, academic education, so to say. Um, just a short overview about our university. Um, as all universities attending today, we are also a University of Applied Sciences, which means we do have a really practice-oriented um, practice focus. We are together with a lot of other universities you may also heard about in Heidelberg and Berlin, uh, one institution in a big holding. Um, our university here in Northern Westphalia, which is, as you saw on the map, in the western part of Germany, is a small uh, university. We have around about 750 students in 12 different programs, where also uh, a lot of students um, studying in German programs. We have three locations, uh, around about 100 really experienced lecturers, different modes of studies, but mostly for international students, there are only the presence programs interesting, and we can call some corporations partners um, working with us. Um, as you see here, actually, I miss, oh no, yeah, here they are. I'm sorry, I thought they would immediately come up the pictures, uh, which they didn't. Um, so the first campus is our campus in the city of Hamm and Münster. Um, the cities are really close to each other. And uh, this is why we have a kind of a corporate campus um, idea here. As we already heard in one of the other presentations, cities with around about less than 200,000 inhabitants in Germany are already uh, yeah, evaluated at mid-sized cities. Um, and both cities are really have a really excellent connection to basically everywhere in Germany. Um, maybe some of you heard about Münster because it's a really popular uh, city for students in Germany. Um, they have a lot of uh, universities, not only ours, so it's a really um, nice city to actually live and study in. Both cities, the city of Hamm and Münster, um, are really green. They do have a lot of leisure opportunities because it's not just about studying, but also about living. As you see on the picture down in the left, the campus facilities are really modern. And what is great for you to know is that we are really specialized um, for international students. I just uh, randomly saw on the website that it says we have 6% um, of international students. And we just uh, lately calculated the numbers new. And actually, we have 40% right now of international students, which we're really happy about and proud. So um, basically, you can be sure to be in an international divide. Uh, environment with us. The other campus uh, which we have is in the city of Leverkusen, which we call the campus in Rhineland because it's in the area uh, Rhineland. Um, for those of you who may not heard of Leverkusen yet, um, they most probably heard of the cities of Cologne and Düsseldorf, which are um, really famous in Germany and to have a lot to offer. So you can uh, live in Cologne and Düsseldorf if you wish to, for example, and enjoy the life there and come to our really also modern campus in the city of Leverkusen. Also, what is great to know is that the countryside Bergisches Land, uh, which is really famous for that just beautiful nature, uh, is really close to, um, to reach. Also, an important point I didn't mention on the other slide, but what is sometimes really um, crucial for students to also maybe take on their decision, especially in the city of Hamm, we do have low cost of living, which is great um, because then you can spend more time uh, maybe on studying and not working part-time or more money on all the other things which are interesting. Um, I say I call it study programs and lots more because I'm just going to present two English programs, but overall we have three English bachelor programs and two fully English master programs. Um, I would just recommend you to have a look at our website to check them out. Um, and then you can also find more details. Maybe there's another program which is interesting for you as well. Before I'm going to present the programs, I am happy to let you know that at our university, we do have a special uh, teaching feature, which we call the core principle. And it says it's, or it stands for competence-oriented research and education. And what is special about it is that although we do have a semester structure, so we do have uh, two intakes per year, the uh, lectures are organized into five-week 
weeks of blocks of studying. So basically, uh, you will have one topic or two topics uh, five weeks straight, then you will have the examination and then another topics following, which is also great because then you do not have like, let's say six or five exams um, in the end. And as the principle states, um, the idea behind this is that um, as also the idea of applied sciences university is that it's not just about theory and a person standing in front of you talking one and a half hours straight about some yeah, some theoretical background. It's about uh, gaining really like practical experiences. And this is going to happen via uh, different um, yeah, styles of teaching, different styles of examination, for example, not only exams, but group projects, case studies, um, group presentations, papers, and so on and so on. Also, um, it's, it, it put a focus on the competencies which needs to be achieved in the actual and the modern job market, because nowadays it's not just about knowing hard facts, knowing theories, it's about having competencies um, aside, which is, for example, social skills, intercultural competences, some language skills, method methodological competences, self competences, and so on and so on. And our idea is to kind of uh, put the focus alongside what competencies, what soft skills, what is called, are needed in order to apply the hard knowledge which is gained. Um, here once again just a uh, yeah, summary of what I just said. Um, the idea with this teaching principle is that we put the uh, students in the absolute focus. We do have small groups so um, it's around about 50 to 20 students in every group so the teacher or the lecturers are really close to to each other and um, that is what it makes is really personal for the students to study with us. So here's a lot of information about the business management. Um, as I know, you will get the presentation afterwards and have a, can have a detailed look in it. Also, of course, all information is available on the website and in some brochures. And of course, you can always contact us. But nonetheless, I want to give you um, a short overview about our business management Bachelor of Science program. It's one of the... Um, yeah, I call it most most famous of our programs because it's a really classic and fundamental program which basically um, prepares you for, for a really good career. Um, we start at summer and winter semester. We do not have any application deadline. So basically you can be really spontaneously, but we highly recommend to do not so because we uh, know the visa process, which are most of the international students are going to go through, does take a long time and also uh, preparing to come to Germany. So we highly recommend to not uh, extend that we do not have an application deadline. It's a full time study. You are legally allowed and, of course, able to work besides, um, but also it would not be possible to work full time. You can choose your study location, either uh, the campuses in Hamm and Münster or the campus in Rhineland. This maybe depends on your personal interests or where you love, uh, love to go. It's 180 uh, credit points, three years, so six semesters, and the tuition fee um, is 680 euro per month. At the beginning, there will be a one-time enrollment fee, which uh, depends on, on the high, it depends on if you're from the European Union or not. Um, additionally, the, um, our non-European Union students are asked to pay the year uh, either one year in advance or a semester in advance. But these are all details which um, I would love to discuss with you on a personal level because financing is always a really personal um, topic where we are, of course, happy to help every student with um, individual uh, yeah, opportunities here. We also do offer uh, a scholarship for our international students, but, um, and it's really important for you guys to know, you can only apply if you're already a student with us, you would then get an additional funding, um, but just for you to, to have in mind. Um, as you see on your curriculum, you will get all the basic knowledge you will need to have when studying business management. Um, for example, you will have math, microeconomics, um, physical distribution, marketing and sales, one of the uh, most important parts um, when when talking about business management. You will also have a glimpse on uh, on law because it's important on yeah on how institutions and everything are 
are set in the environment, you will have a big focus on methods um, and also on accounting, human resources, finance and risk management, international business, economic policy. So as you see, you will basically have a broad overview um, about the classic business management. What is super great um, that this study program just uh, provides you with a really, really good basis to either directly start your job in Germany or wherever you want, or which like kind of gives you really good uh, basis for when you want to do um, an additional master. As we know, and which is important, especially for, I guess, non-EU students, is always the entry requirements for, um, for bachelor programs. Um, what is special at our University North Rhine Westphalia is that we are able to get, give you admission uh, with an internal entry exam, which does not necessarily require a so-called student, uh, student colleague, which is super great. Um, considering the case, you will have a local university entrance qualification, so a school degree which um, allows you to study in your home country, um, but would not be equivalent to German Abitur, so the uh, classical university entrance qualification. We could provide you an entry exam, and depending on how good you pass this you can get uh, admission. So this we think is a really, really great chance and I would be happy to go more into detail um, if, if you are interested in it. Of course, the entry exam will be online because um, yeah, it's, it's just easier and, and we know that most persons are not in Germany yet. Um, besides that, we, of course, need a proof of English proficiency, mm, you know, the classic um, or the typical test, IELTS or TOEFL. And what we do expect is if students, um, or in this case, pupils, already had their school education or later the bachelor education in English language, we can then waive um, the official test, which is um, actually a great chance if students maybe has an old IELTS and are not able to make it on time before. This would lead me to the second program I would like to present to you today. It's the Supply Chain Management, short SCM. It's a Master of Science. Um, I would once again also start with a short overview, the, the most important facts. Um, we also start in summer and winter term and at both locations. Um, so wherever you wish to start, it's also full time and it has 120 um, ECTS, so it's two years. The tuition fee basically is the same as for the bachelor. So this is pretty easy uh, for you to have in mind. As you see in the curriculum, the SCM master does really focus, uh, as the name says, on the supply chain management. So um, we, on the one hand, for example, have fundamentals of international management to give you a broad idea um, on, on what management is, on how leadership is working, and so on and so on. Then it's going really into detail, for example, strategic levels in logistics. Um, it's about IT systems, IT architecture. Um, we also do have an SAP certificate, which you're doing inside your program. And um, yeah, I think it, it really makes sense if you go detailed into the uh, own modules, because just going into detail would just be too much uh, information, of course. What is great for you to know? We have an, uh, like in the curriculum, like German classes, you see it, uh, they will go until the end of the master program. So you will have additionally two years um, of, of German classes, which is great because we also recommend our students to learn at least a little German, which is just make life so much easier in Germany. But you can be sure that all the programs uh, which are conducted in English at our university, are of course, fully in English. The requirements for the uh, master program are, of course, a bachelor degree uh, with at least 180 credits. Um, and what we, of course, want to do is that it's in a related field, which makes sense to put on a master in supply chain management on it. Most of our students do have a um, business management background, so they come more from the business um, knowledge, so to say. And a lot of our students do have an engineering background, so they come more from the um, uh, yeah, from, from the technical part and now want to set up on their focus in supply chain management. Um, here is the same with the English proficiency. Um, 
you you need to prove your English skills at some point, uh, either via uh, the the usual tests, or this can of course also be waived if you study, for example, already in English. Um, now I would like to give you a short overview of what we think is really important for students when studying in Germany, besides the um, the practice. Um, because um, like coming abroad is always really, uh, yeah, a really exciting topic, we think. Um, since we do have a lot of international students and we are really small, we are really um, experienced with any visa related issues. We know um, that sometimes it's a really uh, complicated topic. There are a lot of preparations documents needed, not only in applying for the visa, also when uh, like, um, yeah, staying here in Germany and uh, extending the visa. So we are really, really happy to help with any questions um, regarding this. Also, always an important topic, uh, which leads to a lot of questions, is the health insurance, which is um, needed for students in Germany. What we also do have, we do have some accommodation opportunities, which is just a great option, because you can be sure to have a room even before arriving to Germany. Uh, just let us know if you, if you yeah, want any support, here, if you want us to, to organize a room for you, basically. Of course, I already mentioned it, uh, studying abroad is not just about the pure content of the program, it's about living abroad, having the full intercultural um, experiences. So we really uh, do have a lot of leisure activities and intercultural events at our university. Um, we do organize exchange with former and current students to kind of to get to know what the other students are doing. We help in finding internships and career counseling. We are really happy and also proud that some of our students um, or a lot of our students, former students, get really great jobs. I'll just talk to students who signed a contract with Deloitte. Mm, so, and we also know from, from students who then go to this house mm, and started uh, like a job at, for example, BMW. So basically, uh, we do. Yeah, we're really happy that some, that the students do to get good chances afterwards. Um, we're really small, so the campus setting is really familiar. Like you can just always um, come to us to the administrative stuff. Also, the professors do have a really good open door policy, um, and which we really appreciate. We see that uh, since it's small groups, the the students are really becoming friends. They grow together and they make uh, the best study experiences together. This is already my last slide. Um, here you see um, our team. This is me. I'm working mostly related to international students relations. My colleague uh, Ramona is um, responsible for your application. And my colleague Lorene is responsible for marketing. You see here our email address. We're really happy to answer all your questions. You can also give us a call. And then uh, yeah, we can talk more detailed about everything. Thank you very much, Nora, for this wonderful, another wonderful presentation. And there are more questions for you as well. As we are over time already, despite this fact, there are so many nice questions. I still want to ask them. Uh, and I would invite everyone now to turn on cameras. And let's do that uh, because, yeah, they're really nice questions. And I won't, don't want to miss any of them. So first of all, uh, yeah, uh, regarding the GPA requirement, once again, maybe let's stress on that what is the exact GPA requirement. And for example, if let's say it is 2.5 and the person has 2.6 in German system, is it, does it mean that this person will not be, uh, will not qualify for the program? So are you very strict as long as you have this kind of uh, requirement? Uh, yeah, we are not too mm -hmm. strict um, on it. Actually, we, um... We, of course, need to calculate the German grade, but what for us is important is also the profile of the student if we think it's uh, fitting alongside the the content yeah. we just made. And also, if we are, for example, not sure if the content is matching too much, we also um, sometimes do some interviews, mm -hmm. um, some online interviews with the students where then they can um, state on their motivation to study the program. And uh, we are not, not strict on this, no. Okay, good to know. Thank you. And Travis? Um, I can go along a bit with what uh, my colleagues have said. Um, with MIBEM, we, we have uh, generally a very strong pool of applicants. Mm -hmm. um, so generally, I would say that if your grade point average is less than 2.5, uh, 
um, your chances are pretty low because we have a okay. lot of students that are 1.5 or better uh, mm -hmm. applying to our program. That being said, there there are some, there is some exception to this, um, but it's very rare that, that we allow those exceptions to happen because the, like I said, the pool of candidates that we have is so strong that, um, you know, it's not always possible to make these types of exceptions. Okay, yeah, good to know. Thank you very much. Now let's move to this also very important question, which always pops up, but yeah, we have to address that. And you addressed all of you to a certain extent, but just to uh, be sure uh, on the safe page. So regarding the English uh, test and English requirement. So we have people asking here, first of all, yeah, of course, if I've completed my studies to totally in English, uh, will you accept it? Uh, and so do I need still TOEFL or IELTS or similar test? Also, if I am from an English-speaking country, uh, I will, be, will I be exempt from that? By English-speaking country, we do not mean, let's say, USA or UK, for example, but let's say Nigeria or India, where English can be also regarded as an official language. So do are these uh, students exempt still? Or students from Cameroon also, there was a specific question from Cameroonian uh, student. So yeah, what, what is your say on that? Uh, and one more question also, it was for Nora, but I will ask for, to everyone also, is T, uh, so this uh, person uh, asked about this certificate, T-O-E-I-C certificate is also um, uh, equivalent, I mean, eligible, acceptable from, for, from your programs. It's a long question, but it's really important. And I, I, we got lots of questions about that. So let's try to be as specific as possible to answer el everyone's concerns. Now let's try with uh, Travis. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, yes. We are very strict here at the <laughs> university. <Good. laughs> um, there are the four tests that I want to say. I, I think it's the four tests that we accept. Um, no other tests besides those. Um, we don't allow students to prove English for the for this particular program. It's not possible to prove your English through a bachelor's degree in English, for example, or whatever else. It's it's those four tests. Um, where we do, uh, where we are able to provide some uh, some relief to this is that uh, I know these uh, language tests expire. The results of these expire after two years or three years. Mm -hmm. Um, we do sometimes accept expired ones as long as the students have either uh, studied in English full time or worked full time. Um, mm -hmm. So that's really the only exception that we provide to our English requirements. Okay. Yeah. Great. Good to know. Thank you very much, uh, Nora. Um. Yes. So as I um already mentioned, we do accept this. So if a student um already visited either school or the English. Uh, the, the bachelor program in English, this is proof enough for us, and then no test is needed. Um, but what we also do not expect, uh, except if, um, as, as you mentioned before, the question with the students uh, coming from an English speaking country, which is not where well, it's not the mother tongue or the yeah. main tongue. So, for example, students from India or Nigeria, we do not automatically accept yeah. the English here. So, this does uh -huh. not apply, but for the programs, yes. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Thank you very much. And, and Gorgi, I, I forgot to answer the second part of the question. Uh, we're very specific about the countries um, as well. Um, it's pretty much exactly as Nora has said. Yeah, because it's a really frequent question. Thank you very much. Uh, we are quite clear on that. Um, also, another question to all of you, um, which I think is really uh, important, good to know. I think Suzanne already answered one of uh, the persons, but still, everyone can have an answer from all the programs so uh, the person was asking can i apply before i graduate so before i already have my degree in my hands and for example do you give some time to people that okay during the first semester you provide us already with a ready made diploma and uh, another question uh, just to uh, together with that because i i got this question several times already is ba in marketing and or and or advertising is also okay uh, as a background let's start now with nora um look could you just i'm sorry yes, could yes, you yes. just repeat sorry that? too no, many no, questions no i was like 
So first okay. question was about. So first question was if I don't have my diploma yet, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. can I still uh, apply? Okay. Um, Sorry for this. Uh, yes, no of, of course, it's possible. Um, you can always apply. We do have this with German students uh, as well, of course, because students want to check on how, how future is going without being ready. Um, but what we need actually before um, students uh, get enrolled, so the really enrollment process is at least a provisional certificate. So for us, it's really difficult to say, okay, yeah, you have one semester to uh, to hand in your degree later, because um, this we think would make it really hard in case they don't, that we need to skip them out. But application, of course, it's possible. Um, also, I think I forgot to answer the question uh, from the round before um, with the um, certificate. Um, I do not have it in mind what exact certificate um, or diploma it was. It is and a the test of English for international communication, it's called. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so as in proof for English proof, you yeah. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't say this right now. I think um, I would, or oh, our admission team would need um, to check this on a really, really individual level and to see the mm -hmm. um, the certificate. But um, we are always happy to check in beforehand. So you can hand yeah. it in by email, for example, and ask, and then we let you know if mm -hmm. if it's possible. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, and then there was this marketing and advertisement question. Yes, background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Um, so this, I also cannot answer um, right now exactly because there's also then dependent on how much modules, for example, were held in um, economic, um, yeah, economic fields, so to say. So we then, uh, as we always do, go through the transcripts really carefully and then evaluate if this is enough. But of course, since those tools are uh, great points of or great topics of um, of business management or business studies, um, it's not nothing we cannot um, accept. Okay, thank you very much, Nova and Travis. Um, regarding the second part of. I would say that a bachelor's degree in marketing or advertising is business related. So that's probably not an issue for us. Um, I think that would be considered business related. Um, and to your, to the other question, um, with our program, because you have to apply through Studio and Colleague Constants to have your bachelor's degree um, uh, verified as equivalent, um, they're gonna require a final bachelor's degree. Okay. Um, so in, in our case, if you have a bachelor's degree from outside of Germany, it's not possible to apply uh, with a provisional certificate. Um, although with German uh, students that have studied at a German uh, mm -hmm. university for their bachelor's, um, they are able to do this with a provisional uh, bachelor's certificate. Uh -huh. Yeah, good to know. Great, thank you very much. Uh, so. Uh, there are some more questions, but we have don't have that much time now anymore. Uh, there were some specific questions to the programs uh, regarding Heilbronn. Susan uh, took over all of them. <laughs> I saw she was very active in the Q and A for Nova uh, regarding the entry exam that you mentioned. Uh, the person was asking, uh, can we do it in English or uh, in German language? Uh, no, of course, in English. Sorry, English. I guess I didn't mention it actually. <laughs> yes, um, this is in the language where what uh, in what the um, program is conducted so in English of course okay. yeah perfect so thank you very much there are some more questions as I mentioned but I would like uh, attendees uh, to sorry me for that uh, because we have to finish now and I, what I would suggest of course um, all the program uh, representatives uh, uh, have already mentioned their emails so you are more than welcome to send these questions to them. Of course, when they are, whenever they are, I saw that there were, were quite specific questions. But of course, if you have some general questions, you are also more than welcome to text us at, at my German university uh, dot, uh, at info at my German university. First of all, before I show you uh, our email, really briefly, uh, just a suggestion also from our side. So as you could see. Today we had mostly master level programs, but also bachelor level program present as well. So 
uh, after answering your questions and if you are more interested generally about procedures of uh, for applying for mass this kind of master programs or bachelor programs that we have present today we can also to a certain degree help you with some uh, general information and we have uh, this general webinar on studying in germany it it will take place on 5th of april and previous one also took place on 1st of march and you can see it on facebook also the recording so i think it will be useful for you uh, to apply for one of these programs um, to have some additional information on that but other than that uh, thank you very much for staying with us thanks a lot for our guests for these wonderful presentations and for this wonderful answers to the questions really clear cut no more questions left i, I would say no uh, and uh, yeah as i said uh, if you have any general question always text us at info at mygermanuniversity.com or, or send us a message on facebook but again i saw there are a lot of questions still for the programs, again, uh, just send them uh, email and they you see how friendly they are, how, how open they are, <laughs> and they will get back to you, I'm sure, as soon as possible. And yeah, uh, you can also see in the chat direct links where you can uh, send us your feedback regarding today's webinar, and I'm reading them and I'm always taking uh, into account your concerns to improve our future webinars. Okay, so thank you very much once again to all of you. It was a pleasure and I hope to see you on our future webinars as well. Take care and have a good evening.